Good morning. Welcome to Daily Devotionals. We're in the Old Testament again. Uh, we're looking at the book of Zephaniah, actually. It's the third chapter. We're looking at verses 14 through 17. Shout for joy, O daughter of Zion. Shout in triumph, O Israel. Rejoice and exult with all of your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has taken away his judgments against you. He has cleared away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You will fear disaster no more. In that day it will be said to Jerusalem, Do not be afraid, O Zion. Do not let your hands fall limp. The Lord your God is in your midst, a victorious warrior. He will exult over you with joy. He will be quiet in his love. He will rejoice over you with shouts of joy. One individual shares, he says, My grandmother recently sent me a folder of, full of old photographs. And as I thumbed through them, one caught my eye. In it, I'm two years old. And I'm sitting on one end of a hearth in front of a fireplace. And on the other end, my dad has his arm around my mother's shoulder. Both are gazing at me with expressions of love and delight. I pinned this photo to my dresser where I see it every morning. It's a wonderful reminder of their love for me. The truth is, Though that even the love of God, good parents is imperfect, I save this photo because it reminds me that although human love may fail sometimes, God's love just never fails us. And according to scripture, God looks at me the way my parents are looking at me in the picture. The prophet Zephaniah described this love in a way that astounds me. He describes God as rejoicing over his people with singing. You know, God's people had not earned this love. They had failed to obey him or to treat each other with compassion, but Zephaniah promised that in the end, God's love would prevail over their failures. God would take away their punishment and he would rejoice over them. He would gather his people into his arms, and he'd bring them home and he would restore them. That's love worth reflecting on every single morning. Questions today. How does it make you feel that God rejoices over you with singing? And how have you experienced his love today? Pray with me. God, thank you for your forgiveness and faithful love for each and every one of us. Amen.